this is awesome, this is awesome, this intro is awesome, I wanted you to see that, as simple as that, that is why you are seeing it right now, look at this, look at this, the Germans are attacking us, we have got to stop them, welcome soldiers, begin this demonstration, select your rank from the list, blah blah blah, hello people of the earth and welcome to Quicksafe TV, this is Mike Pushkin, your host, and today we're taking a look at Sniper Elite V2, or Sniper Elite 2, demo. Now, first thing I wanted to note is, look how awesome the main menu is. Right now you're watching it in 720p, hopefully, but the thing is that it looks even better, even better in 1080. It's just unbelievably awesome. Okay, good. Advanced, reduce mouse lag. We should be able to survive this. Very good, 50 FPS right now. Set it back, audio, screw you, controls. Eh, fine. Look how awesome it is, like moving all over the floor and stuff. Let us begin. Sniper Elite. Prepare for a tough fight. Realistic bullet ballistics deadly. Let's go for Marksman right now because I just want to present the game for you, not to die trying doing it. Ta-da! Another transition. Told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Let's Kreis, listen. An expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Let us begin now. Okay. So we'll play as a sniper, I assume. Pay attention to your heat heart rate. A low heart rate will reduce scope sway. Okay. Okay. Okay, less running. Ah, I see. Okay, when your line is lower. Press E to steady your aim, or wait till your heart rate is sufficient low to focus. Sufficiently low to focus. Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. So we have to actually, as a sniper, we have to pay attention to these things. Use the the mill dots on the reticle to compensate for bullet drop over distance. Excuse me. Use the mill dots. Oh, these things. Mill dots. Mill. M I L dots to compensate for bullet drop over distance. Except in cut it. Okay, I see. Okay, we should. I see, so the larger the distance, okay, good. Use the wind indicator comp to compensate for bullet drift over distance, only in sniper elite difficulty. Aha. Uh -huh. Whew, good thing I'm not gonna have to do that. <laughs> so actually, this sounds very sophisticated. Okay, let's go ahead and see how the game is actually, after we read all these tutorials. Third person? God, seriously? Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I take it back, it's great. Okay, so we can use cover by pressing Q, we just hide behind cover, it reminds me any kind of game, the only game with such type, don't laugh at me, the last game like this, and the first and last game I played with such view, oh, actually not the, not the last, but I played the first game like this, it was Kill Switch, I think it invented this thing, I'm almost sure, and yeah, it was pretty good. Why do I sneak? Ah, okay, by pressing Ctrl and holding, I can actually aim, kind of. So there's heart rate. Okay, right now it doesn't shake. If I don't move, the heart remains at level 60, okay. I can also press E to focus. But my heart slowly starts beating faster and faster. Okay, so I have to be careful with that. Cool, okay, sounds interesting. By pressing shift, I can run. By pressing C, I can sneak. Very good. Oh, look at this. By running, by running, I spend stamina. Okay, by pressing Q, I use cover. Okay, I think I know pretty much where the controls are now, let's just continue. The graphics are quite sophisticated, I'm not gonna say it's extremely beautiful looking game, but again it's 720p, and the, the most important thing for me in a shooter is that it's smooth and how it plays. I see how there's a lot of mechanics, it would be pretty much, it, it would be interesting to study them. Now, what I don't like, I will just go ahead and talk about things I like and I don't like as I play, to try to dissect the game and see how it is. What I like is the responsiveness of the game. It just feels good, honestly. The controls are pretty pretty comfortable. Don't piss me off. What I don't like is I have to press control to actually shoot at something, but it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of logical because I have to slow down to actually fire and it, it it's kind of logical. Not that it doesn't make any sense. Weird fire sprite. Okay, I can survive without it, but you know, it could certainly look better. Let's go ahead and study what's inside here. Okay, how can I change the weapon? Oh, okay, so I can. I have my sniper rifle here. I have Thompson M1. Can I aim through that? No, with Thompson I cannot. 
So see, the it's only hardcore. Wow, what an interesting pistol. Well, ro Lord. well Rod. Looks weird. I think I remember it somewhere. It's like one time I've seen this pistol in my entire life in a game. Anyway, the point is that the systems seem to be only sophisticated with the sniper rifle. Everything else lags. Okay, anyway, let's continue. I guess it's kind of logical. It's about snipering. And, you know, notice how you have a lot more ammunition for sniper rifle. The, uh, the other weapon is kind of for the, you know, noobish people, such as myself, if I fail so that I have an opportunity. I think I see enemies over there. Yeah, I see a couple of enemies. What do I need to do? Do I need to sneak around them? Do I have to kill them? What's inside here? I like how there's a lot of stuff in the houses. Not nearly enough, but, you know, still quite a lot. I guess people evacuated from here. I like that we don't go around empty places, but I don't like that I cannot use anything. It's not extremely important, and it's not an RPG, obviously. Oh, I can sneak. Good. I like how responsive the game is, easy to control. This control will certainly be very, very effective on the Xbox or anything else. Okay, let's just go ahead and fucking attack them. What are we talking about? Yes. Can I zoom? Yes, I can zoom. Beautiful. Focus time. Pitch. I missed, right? Okay, so it helps me, kinda. So I have to adjust. Wow. Space? Why did I do that? Oh my goodness. Let's run backwards. Oh! The Germans are attacking us. Good, good. We're in good position. Fine. The music is too loud. I have no third arm, sadly. Let's see what the hell is happening. Let's go ahead and try to liquidate them with a sniper rifle. Okay, stand up. Can we stand up? Yes, we can stand up. But we we leave cover. Okay, yeah. In this part, the controls could be much more effective. Oh, wow, this is awesome. This I absolutely like. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Why does it explode again, may I ask? Remote detonation? How did I do that? Okay, that was absolutely unrealistic, but who cares, right? Wow, this was awesome. This was great. This effect, they really add to the game, makes it look better. Did I hit him? Yes, I hit him. Yes, this, look, this is great. I like how it gives the statistic right away, how it, like how much points it you scored, how effective was your kill, and etc. etc. Missed, right? Did miss this time? Oh, this one is explosive bullet, right? Oh, no, it wasn't. I like the animation, how the enemies react to the fighting, firing, and the weapon attacks. This is just great. This is what I like. What I don't like is that the controls and cover could be better, okay? That's just my opinion. Good God. Why don't you find cover, Mike? Because I am an idiot. Duh. Okay, good. Lying down for absolutely no reason. I like how I can, you know, do whatever I want as I'm lying down. It doesn't take me any time to change, you know, my position anyhow. Okay, let's aim. Was it? It wasn't a headshot. I like how the distances are very, very great. 130 meters. I was not aware the sniper bullet... falls down so quickly. Okay, let's just adjust this time. Let's look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so... This effect, they truly add... Oh, wow. Holy fucking shit. And I thought this game is going to suck. Well, no, it doesn't. All right, good. So, recap quickly. What is good, what is bad? What's good? The sniper rifle mechanics, the effects, the fatalities, these things are absolutely great and astounding. What is not great, what I would like to be changed, or... Okay, I see the, the flare, I think, from the sniper scope of the enemy. Did I hit him? I think I did. What I would like to change is the way the other weapons behave, because they're, they're like, they just made, they just exist. Oh my goodness, I did hit him in the lung, right? Or was it the heart? Vital hit. So you also get additional points for vital hits. This is crazy. So you can actually, you don't have to aim for the head necessarily. You can just try to aim somewhere that will be deadly, like heart, for instance, and whatever else. What I don't like is, look at this. There's, there's no way to aim with other weaponry. With sniper rifle, it's all sophisticated and shit. But with other weaponry, it's, you know, it just exists. You know, that's it. This is kind of sad, but 
other than that, other than that, it looks great. It's very interesting. Let's see if we can we can search corpses. What do we get? Okay, we get ammunition. Oh, by searching by searching enemy corpses, we get ammunition for American sniper rifle. Oh yeah, this is logical. I mean, yeah, Germans certainly carry some bullets for sniper rifle, Springfield sniper rifle, especially considering that they have their givers and etc. But okay, fine. I guess it doesn't have to be so realistic. What's kind of saddening is it's not RPG. Yeah, I know, I know, fine, it's action. I'll just try to treat it as such. What is sad is that we cannot jump. This is not absolutely bad, but you know, it could be better. Okay. Space, hold, pick up the body. So if I pick up the body... Okay, we can transport bodies. Let's see how it actually works. So I can essentially hide the bodies and try to be sneaky. I didn't see any knife mechanics in this game yet, but the fact itself that we can transport the bodies means that we can be pretty sneaky, okay? So, no, yeah, drop the body. For fuck's sake, good. Yeah. <laughs> you don't just smack it around like this, you put it gently so nobody hears you, okay? Good. Obviously you didn't play commanders, bastard. Pick up MP40. What if we pick it up? Okay, we replace our shit automati automatically, and also we can get some ammunition for it, I'm sure. Okay, we automatically get some ammunition. Very, very minor amount. You know, it's kind of fun. What I really like is that all the weapons is displayed on the character. If you have any kind of weapons on the... Let's see how... Oh yeah, the heartbeat is crazy. Notice that if you move around like an idiot, like I did right now, you probably will not be able to engage the enemies with utmost efficiency right from the start. You will have to restore... Excuse me, calm down and etc, etc. And I know it says empty lung, I cannot do anything right now. So, this game is not about rushing the enemies or moving too quickly, so it's kind of realistic in this fashion, because the main weapon is a sniper rifle, and because if you move around or run around like an idiot, what's going to happen is that you will not be able to do shit as effectively. Notice how from the corpses that had no much of opportunity to fire at us, we find more stuff. Notice how, when I'm sneaking, the bar stares at the first, uh, how to say, first mark to the left, and my, my heart rate is much lower than it was before, not 80 anymore, 65. So if I lie down, what happens? Feel even better, right? The sniper rifle, the sniper scope almost doesn't shake. Then again, it's just a medium difficulty, right? Notice how complex the normal difficulty is, there's a lot of things to pay attention to, that's interesting. You know what? This for 35 euros, I would consider purchasing this game. Honestly, as a consumer, I think 35 euros is not a bad price. That's what I see right now on Steam. I'm glad it's not a full price. I generally think I think I generally thinks Jaik generally thinks that the games are overpriced. Anyway, I think generally games are overpriced, and for the price of uh, 35 euros, I would consider buying this game. It looks great, it plays great, very stable frame rate, everything is responsive. The sad part is the how the cover operates, but you know, our game is perfect, I guess. I like how the mechanics with the sniper rifle works, and you know, judging from the battle, it's just, it feels great. My hand crunched once again. You, you have to see how it actually crunches it. I have to show you sometime. Oh my goodness, what do I do with him? Can I take him down? Can I take him down, please? Yes! Yes! That a boy! Search the corpse. What do you mean I'm a fool? Find space for it. You see it? You can actually stealth kill opponents. No need to rush like an idiot. You can be careful and enjoy the game quite a lot. Let's go ahead and drop him inside here. Come on! Stuck in the wall. Well, that sucked. Surprise! Not surprisingly, it happens in many games. Older games and uh, this new games. It just happens all the time. Just stuck in goddamn walls. But, you know. Ah, I guess no way around it. I wish it never happened. It pisses me off so much when I do, try to do something, especially when I have to rush somewhere, and I just stuck in a wall, and it just feels shitty. Okay, what is here? I don't like that we cannot most of the, we cannot search most of the boxes in the game. I do like that there is some ammunition spots in the game. It will be helpful for any player that plays the game and spends ammunition, you know, to get all this uh, to, to replenish some of this ammunition. I like the work of light and shadow. 
which is, you know, graphically, graphically, usually you would like shooters to look good, okay? This one does. I'm not gonna say it looks the, the like the most impressive shooter. The the latest shooters that I played that was that, that looked impressive to me was I have to admit um, Battlefield 3 was looking very impressive, but again it wasn't giving the very high FPS at all times, which was kind of sad. This doesn't look too much impressive, too impressive, but the engine is pretty good. And it, uh, let's see if I'm gonna burn if I stand in a fire. I do. Holy shit! Okay, fine. I burn in fire. Don't stand in fire, kids. Very good. In some games you don't. That's why I'm checking. Okay. Okay, more enemies over there. Let's go ahead and assault them. I mean, what do I have to lose? Headshot. Headshot. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely awesome. This is brutal. Th this game is... This game really is brutal and it plays very well. I like that there's always... In this segments, there are enemy snipers which try to liquidate us and we have to hunt for them carefully. Or not carefully. Let's try to use different weapons and see how it actually operates. Let's go ahead and use this pistol. Did it work? I see that it's absolutely silent, okay? You don't get as many points for it, but it's absolutely silent and the music keeps banging in my... Oh, look at this! This is the last spot where we were noticed, I assume. And it... It appeared... Oh! Enemy sniper, he's somewhere up here, I think. Okay, good. That dude, that dude, that dude, that dude, that dude, that in his freaking chin! Yes, in his head, good! This is awesome. I'm generally not a person for um, brutal things, generally. Yes, as the Warhammer fan, but you know, really, I'm, I'm not. But this looks very impressive. It just, it just looks very beautiful, right? Whether you like this or not, it looks very nice. It looks, it looks unusual for combat like this. It's a lot of fun. Okay, what's in here? I actually would like to test out the MP40 and see how it actually, actually operates. Oh, look at accuracy. There's no. <laughs> there is none. <laughs> okay, let's try it. For fuck's sake. This is very difficult, actually. Achtung, my ass, son of a bitch. Good. Run! Freaking run! <laughs> okay. No wonder the other weapons are not so detailed. I guess it tries to be realistic in that, you know, it's hard to kill someone with this weapon, you get more points with uh, pistol than with the... Um, how do you call it? The, well, when, uh, than with the submachine gun. But of course the most points you get headshot by using the um, sniper rifle. Also notice that these things do not activate when I'm not calm, okay? So it's best to be calm, like to have a low heartbeat rate. This way you get these shits activated much more frequently. Search the corpse. What did we find? Nothing useful. Okay, good. Let's just continue. Stop sneaking around. What kind of sucks and doesn't suck at the same time is that you cannot open doors. From one side it sucks because you cannot explore the world around you. From another side you cannot get lost because generally the doors that are locked, you cannot do anything with them. So just forget about them. Forget they even exist. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and continue to the next checkpoint. I like the detail of the level. I like how there's a lot of stuff happening all around you and there's Literally, there's a lot of cover for combat, and it doesn't look out of place. Like, if you remember Prince of Persia, for example, uh, a, a, a kind of platformer fighting game, in which there would be specific places which you could climb and etc. etc. Well, here, it doesn't look out of place. In Prince of Persia, it looked out of place. It seemed as if someone went there and carved all these places, planned charges on the Kangui's route made these things just for you, excuse me, to use them, that they didn't really exist. Okay, what do we use? Plant explosive. What do we do now? Let's go ahead and pick up a better position. Yeah, I know where I want to fire from. How do I actually... Plant charges on the convoy's route. Okay, so we just plant charges for now. And then we ambush them. I'm gonna get up in the position where the enemy sniper was. I'm gonna try it, very least, trying to ambush the convoy. Yeah. 
God damn it. What the fuck was I thinking? Okay, let me just calm down a little bit. The worst thing is that I cannot take them down, essentially, like this. Because they're gonna alert them to my presence. And that's not what I wanted to do. I like the animation in the game. It's not uber realistic, but it's it's fluid and it's solid, you know. That's what I would like to see. That's it. Good. Okay, in close quarters it doesn't look so beautiful. Look, notice how much less points you get when you fire from such a distance. The most points you get is when you fire from extremely large distance and you also shot shoot in a vital organs, which is nice. I mean, it's it's freaking logical, you know, why should you be awarded for doing something so trivial? That, that's something like I did right now. But the game is not too difficult on the medium difficulty. I suggest you to play it on the hardest difficulty if you can afford doing it. I mean, if you believe that you can handle it. Okay, now what do we do? We, we just, you know, oh yeah, we, we stick around there. This is going to be our trap. Oh yes. And although I generally hate games about World War II, because I've seen, I've seen much more of them than any human being would ever want to see in his goddamn life, I think this game is great. That's what I think so far. I give it right now, but from what I see, oh no, I, I'll give it solid 7. That's how it looks for me. I don't know how big campaign is, if there's going to be multiplayer modes, I really don't know anything about it, but it looks very solid for what it is, it's fun. I don't know if it would be as fun in multiplayer. Why did I do that? I do not know, I could have just stealthily taken down on him. Probably because I'm an idiot, let us continue. Yeah, look at this crosshair, half a screen! That's my accuracy, boy. Did you like that? I'm a professional marksman. No. Okay, good, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up, let's not breathe, <laughs> why do you need a low heartbeat? You're just a sniper, fool. Okay, here, can we use anything? Yes, we can use cover, what a great cover, I mean, part of your head, part of your ear is covered. Oh, <laughs> you're so safe. Okay, fine, let's come down a little bit. Get up. Get to the vantage point, vintage point, vantage point, okay, good. Let's get up to the vantage point. We're going up. Shh, shut up, you guys. They're gonna spot us. That's a lot of ammunition for American snipers that they have here. <laughs> how, <laughs> I mean, how much ammunition do you want to leave that it, you don't even use? Hmm, they're in there for fuck's sake. What was that? That was an enemy sniper. And of course, you know, what's the best way to deal against enemy sniper? Not to hide the hell away from his fire. No! Got it. Okay, no, the best way is to lie down and start moving slowly towards him and pray that you're not gonna die. <laughs> yes. That's that's an argument to the people who think that people who play violent games gonna become violent murderers. Yeah, this game taught me so much. I mean, I would totally be an effective killer with this game. <laughs> Especially on the middle difficulty. Well, anyway. <coughs> For fuck's sake, the convoy is coming, great. Great. I demand a detonation with a big explosion. Mister, is it comfy there? Yeah, yeah, don't get dirty. Be careful. For this is very important. Objective completed. Yeah, we're gonna so get them. Shoot the charges to stop the convoy. Yes, yes, I missed the first bullet, but this is not important. Explode! Look, it looks awesome, I mean, seriously, it doesn't look too graphically impressive, but the way the things happen and the slow motion added, it's just great. I like how people did not change their pose as they died, I mean, what's the point? What happens now? Oh my goodness, I have the sniper rifle, no problem. No, don't aim at me. No, 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 no. Don't try this kind. No, no, oh fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> that was the presentation, that's it. That. Okay. No, okay. Realistic World War II weaponry, yeah. Don't mention World War II weaponry if you don't detail anything but the sniper rifle. So, let me read it for you as I see it. 
realistic World War, World, World War II sniper rifles, okay, and their behavior. Everything else is not important. Or oh, it actually adds, it actually only shows the, okay, Springfield, the American sniper rifle, Gewehr 43, the um, autom uh, semi-automatic, I think, uh, yeah, semi-automatic uh, rifle, German rifle, very, very good one. Mosin Nagant, uh, this is not automatic completely. You have to pull the lever every time. So, yes, all the good stuff available. Single player play through 11 highly detailed environments ranging, ranging, ranging from Berlin, V2 rocket factory and the German flag tower. Okay, this is kind of sad, only 11 environments. So let's estimate how much time will it take for you to finish, say, 8 hours at most? Jesus, the game gets shorter and shorter. Very well detailed, but just how much will you get from it? Online co-op play. Team up and play the full game in online co-op mods plus three additional game mods. Okay, this is great. This is a solid bonus. I would totally play it with a friend. And online multiplayer combat in 12-player adversarial game mods against other elite snipers from around the globe. This is nice that it exists, but huge questions about balance and, you know, camper camper for the win. So, yeah. This was the presentation of the Sniper Elite V2. I think it's already available and you can buy it on Steam right now for 35 euros and about the same, I guess, in dollars. I thank you so much for watching. This was Mike Pushkin with you from Quicksafe TV, my channel. Don't forget to check my channel for other great videos and subscribe if you would like to support my work and get notified when new content becomes available. It was great pleasure having you here. Have a great day and bye-bye. like stolen keys, our weapon directed against us, and etc, etc, etc. All this exciting mumbo jumbo, and I, I'm, I'm already sure what the main campaign will be about. Even if you're a trigger-happy individual such as myself, you will not be able to spend your magazine as frivolously. Free, frivol... <laughs> Frivolously. I, I, I know what this word means, but I'm, I'm horrible at pronouncing it. Anyway, you understand, right?